experience. Welcome to Factory Direct Bikes Bike Maintenance Podcast. My name is Mike Jenner, I'm going to show you how to change a tyre and a tube. There are a couple of basic tools you need to change your tyre and tube. The first one is a set of tyre levers and also a decent quality pump such as this. Hand pumps are okay but take more work to pump the tyre back up. So to change a tyre and a tube on a bike, the first thing you need to do is remove the wheel from the bike. On a quick release wheel, you drop the lever like this, undo the nut on the other side and gently tap it out of the fork. What you now do is remove the dust cap from the tube, undo any little nut that may be on your inner tube and gently release any remaining air. Also on this one you need to remove the retaining washer so that the tube can come out of the wheel. So taking your first tyre lever, insert it under the bead of the tyre and hook it onto a bicycle spoke. Take your second tyre lever, hook it under another part of the tyre. What we're now going to do is move the tyre lever around the wheel, loosening the first side of the bead. Like so. This will now allow you to remove the tyre on the tube from the wheel. Best way to do this is again to start opposite the valve hole, grab hold of the inner tube, pull it out like so, and then pull the remaining part out from the valve and gently pump it up. Once you're happy that there's air leaking from the inner tube, once you've found the hole, what you can now do is go back to your tyre, remove it from the wheel. What you can now do is using your hands and being very, very, very careful, run your hands around the, the tyre, just checking for any glass, any pins, any thorns or any other foreign object. If you do come across one, using a needle nose pair of pliers, you can grab hold of the object and remove it from either outside the tire or inside the tire. Once you're happy that the tire is clear of any debris, refit it onto the rim one side first. Grabbing your partially inflated in tube, insert it through the valve hole first. And then gently drop the inner tube into the tire, like so. Again, starting from the valve hole, gently drop the other side of the tire in making sure you don't trap the inner tube like this. And gently working both sides at the same time. When you get to the bottom of the wheel, again, making sure the inner tube is inside, push the remaining bead over the top of the rim. If you need to, use a tyre lever to help you, but again, be careful to make sure you don't pinch the inner tube. When you have your tyre and tube refitted to the wheel, grab the little silver washer and screw it back on. This will help to keep the tube in place as you pump it back up. Grab your pump. Grab your tube, making sure the valve is open. Put the pump on, like so. And pump to the required pressure. 
generally on a mountain bike, this is between 30 to 40 PSI. On a road bike, anywhere between 100 and 120 PSI. Once your tire is fully inflated, remove the pump. Put the dust cap back on to make sure no dirt gets into the valve because this could trap the valve from opening and closing. Then put the wheel back into the bike. Like so, and close the lever.